All right, it is a pleasure to call this meeting of the Standing Committee of Justice and Human Rights to order as we commence our study based on the order of reference of Wednesday, March 8th, 2017 on Bill S-217, an act to amend the criminal code detention and custody or otherwise known as Wins Law. It gives me great pleasure to welcome our house sponsor of the bill, Mr. Michael Cooper, who is a member of our committee. What a pride it is of us to have you. Um, so Mr. Cooper, the floor is yours. Right, well, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you, colleagues. It's uh, a privilege uh, to be before you to, uh, to testify on uh, Bill S-217, known as Wins Law, uh, named in honor of Constable David Wynn. Bill S-217 is a straightforward bill. It seeks minor amendments to the criminal code, minor amendments, however, that had they been enacted at the time that Constable Wynn was shot and killed could have saved Constable Wynn's life. Before I go into the details on Bill S-217, uh, let me at the outset provide uh, some background in terms of what led uh, to Bill S-217 Wins Law. During the early morning hours of uh, January 17, uh, 2015, uh, Constable David Wynn and Auxiliary Constable Derek Bond were inspecting license plates outside of a casino in St. Albert, my home community. Uh, they were conducting, uh, inspecting license plates as uh, part of their uh, routine uh, policing. And uh, in the course of inspecting license plates, they uh, came across a license plate in the name of one Sean Rain, uh, for whom there was an arrest warrant for. Uh, consequently, Constable Wynn and Auxiliary Constable Bond proceeded into the casino to arrest Mr. Rain. Upon approaching Sean Rain, Rain began to shoot and shot Constable Wynn and shot Auxiliary Constable Bond. Tragically, Constable David Wynn died four days later on January 21st, 2015. Constable Bond survived, but I can tell you, having spoken with him, that his life will never be the same. And indeed, his life is in many ways a living hell as he seeks to deal with the impacts of uh, being shot at close range, both from a physical and psychological standpoint. Constable Wynn's killer, Rain, was out on bail at the time. He was out on bail notwithstanding the fact that he had some 60, over 60 prior criminal convictions, uh, 29 outstanding charges. I said 38 before, but it was 29, and multiple failures to appear. It prompted RCMP Commissioner Paulson to ask how it was that such an individual was walking amongst us. And it turns out that the reason such an individual was walking amongst us was because this individual's criminal history was not presented at the bail hearing. One of the reasons why this information was not presented at the bail hearing is as a result of a loophole, at, and that loophole is in the criminal code found at uh, section uh, 518 sub 1 sub c. And that loophole, a fatal loophole, provides that the criminal history of a bail applicant may be presented, may, notwithstanding that the criminal history of a bail applicant is always relevant and material for a proper determination 
on the question of bail. The essence, the cornerstone, the underlying purpose of Bill S-217 is to amend Section 518, Sub 1, Sub C, to replace shall, uh, may with shall, so that in all circumstances the criminal history of a bail applicant is presented at a bail application hearing. The purpose of Wynn's Law is to, to ensure that all relevant and material information is presented. Something that didn't happen in the bail hearing of Sean Rain uh, with lethal consequences. Now, what Wynn's Law would do is ensure that relevant and material information is presented, but what it would not do is in any way interfere with the discretion of a judge or magistrate to make a determination on the question of bail. Uh, indeed, what Bill S-217 would do is give and ensure that the judge or magistrate had all of the relevant information before them so that they could properly exercise their discretion in determining whether someone should be kept behind bars or let out into the community. Moreover, Wynn's Law would not impose any undue burden on the Crown, on prosecutors. Indeed, this type of evidence is almost always presented at a bail application hearing. What Bill S-217 would do is formalize in law what is almost always done and what should always be done at a bail hearing so that what happened to Constable Wynn and Auxiliary Constable Bond never happens again. Now, uh, in addition to amending Section 518 Sub 1 uh, Sub C of the Criminal Code, there is also a secondary ancillary uh, component to Bill S-217 and that is to amend Section uh, 515 Sub 10 Sub C. Uh, section 515 Sub 10 uh, is the section in the Criminal Code that sets out the grounds in which bail may be denied. Uh, there are three grounds set out in Section uh, 515 Sub 10. Uh, the first is at Section uh, 515 Sub 1 sub a, sub a, which is in the case of an individual being a flight risk. Uh, the second is at Section 515 uh, Sub 10 Sub B, which is where public safety uh, is at play. And then the third ground, and this is the ground that uh, this bill would, would amend as well, uh, is Section 515 Sub 10 uh, Sub C, which deals with uh, denying bail where confidence in the administration of justice would be compromised. Uh, there are four sub grounds that must be considered under that uh, question of the administration of justice being compromised. What this bill would do is make a minor amendment by adding uh, three grounds uh, in addition to the four that are already there, uh, namely past uh, convictions, outstanding charges, and failures to appear. Uh, but again, the, the overriding purpose, the overriding objective is the change to Section 518, Sub 1, uh, Sub C, which is to change May to Shell, so that the criminal history of a bail applicant is always presented at a bail application hearing. Uh, in closing, Mr. Chair and colleagues, uh, uh, what, what happened to Constable Wynn and Auxiliary Constable Bond should never have happened. And unfortunately, we cannot turn back the clock. But as parliamentarians, we have an obligation, I believe, to close a fatal loophole so that this never happens again. We owe it to Constable Bond, to Constable Wynn, we owe it to Canadians, Mr. Chair. Thank you.
Thank you very much for your very compelling testimony.